God is a God of journey. Yes, he meets you here on the mountain where you are. But then he says to Abraham, go. And he says to Moses, lead my people. And he says to Mary, bear my son. God is a God who cares about your here. But I believe more and more the older I get that he's more concerned about your there. God is a God of great crossings, taking you from where you are today, leading you to where he wants you to be. He's a creator. He's a builder. He's a mover. He's a shaper. He's a strategizer. He's a transformer. And he's implementing the Holy Spirit in your life and in my life and in the world today to be and to become someone he wants us to be. He's a God of the future. He's not a God of just today. He's not a God of just good enough or ordinary or just as you are. He'll take you that way. But he's a God of journey and of great crossings. He wants to do something significant in your life. That is my message to you this morning from God, not from me. I believe with all of my heart because I've experienced it personally. He wants to do something significant in your life. And he's not going to make that significance just sending you somewhere. When he told Moses to go lead the people, he didn't send him. He went with him. He wants to be your personal deliverer. He's a God of great crossings and a great deliverer. Sometimes, and often I find, in Scripture, and also in my life, there are these moments of challenge. My good friend John Aiden, up sitting on the back row, defined them for me years ago as Red Sea moments. These times in your life, like Moses, when you come to an a position where you're faced with total uncertainty, you're overwhelmed with the odds being against you. And as I watched John this morning, with hands high and a heart abandoned, Moses has one thing to do, but to depend upon the Lord for his crossing. But it was his faith in God that allowed God to move and to make that crossing for all of his people. Sometimes it takes time. Oftentimes in the Bible, it's 40 days. 40 days and nights for Noah. 40 days on the mountain for Moses, teaching from God for 40 days. 40 days for David, and 40 days of taunting by Goliath, and nobody around him doing anything. And he's ready to make the crossing with God. Israel, 40 years of wilderness wandering before they believed God in such a way that he delivered them to the new land. 40 days of testing for Jesus, face to face with Satan, having an encounter for 40 days and 40 nights, ready to make his great crossing. And when he came back, he did 40 days of forced resurrection teaching to his disciples to get them ready. 